So cool game to join the party. Hi. I am just surrounded by like grumpy dogs. <laughs> morning guys so I got some sleepy family members over here one two and number three is still actually let's go show you because it's pretty darn cute <laughs> Dakota has made herself a little fort in my office and is just like the funniest thing so here's like my setup from taking pictures the other day and here is my little fluffy doggy underneath do you have a fort huh are you all snuggled up you are so funny. <laughs> so yeah, we're having a pretty sleepy day going on over here. I just finished editing the vlog. Melissa has actually been working on kind of like tearing apart her office and getting things packed up. Put things on top of the map. No, we didn't. Yes, you did. So you put the book bag on top of the map. So you oh, I'm sorry, it. baby. She smushed it. I'm sorry. It's not very much. It's still heavy of you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Take it where you can get it. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, she is packing up her office stuff. She has a nice little like pile of stuff going on over here. So this is kind of what has gotten assembled to bring over to the house today. This little man is going home today. <laughs> Are you just so exhausted? This is like the most tired dog I've ever seen. Look at that. So sleepy. <laughs> but you look so comfy. You have a nice bed on the ottoman. Yeah. Rufio has a rough life. <laughs> so rough. Rough, rough life. Are you excited to go home? Yeah. Oh, look who made it out. Look who came to join the party. Hi. I am just surrounded by, like, grumpy dogs. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think we're going to try and get some stuff packed up and into the car today and take it on over to the house, hopefully. Alrighty, so Melissa just ran out to the grocery store to get us some food for the week because we have absolutely no food in the house and I am going to Start a load of laundry and I'm really excited because I just realized that the next load of laundry after this is going to be in our new house In my new washing machine in our new dryer like I'm so excited because we will be moving in next Saturday And so we'll be like officially living in the house the next time I need to do laundry Which is like a silly thing to be excited about but I'm excited. <laughs> all right, laundry is in and I'm gonna do a bit more packing. I think I'm gonna start by focusing on the bar cart and getting all of this kind of packed up and ready to move. All right, so it's actually a bit later and we ended up packing up the car and making our way over to the new house. Sorry, I didn't really like update you guys. We were just paying attention to packing up the car and getting things ready and over here because we have to be back home around seven-ish because Rufio's getting picked up. So yeah, we were kind of trying to hurry up, but we are here, we are at the new house and we are gonna unload the cars. Alright, we're all finished and we are going to turn right back around and head home to meet my parents at the apartment. Alright, so we just got home, Rufio got picked up and went home, and I thought I'd kind of, again, show you guys the progress we made today because we moved out a lot of stuff and like majorly like, you know, furniture and big stuff, so it has a nice impact. <laughs> so over here is looking pretty dang empty, and Melissa's desk is pretty much, or her like all office space is pretty much all packed and moved. And then over here we got rid of this shelf today. And then over here, still looking pretty much the same in the dining room. Then back here in my office is pretty cleared out. So we got a bunch of stuff from over there. Got all that stuff. And then finally in the bedroom, we also moved that dresser. So yeah, we're really emptying things out. This whole side is empty. We got a lot moved. We still have a lot to move, but we have at least got a lot moved as well. So we're making progress. And yeah, we have the big move next Saturday, which will move all the you know actual big furniture that you know needs like two people to carry it and stuff, and you know needs a U-Haul to move mostly. So 
yeah, until then we'll continue to move the small stuff. But um, it's dinner time, so we are going to start making dinner. Melissa's making a steak, a steak spinach salad, which I love and I'm like really excited about. She said that as a like suggestion for dinner tonight. I don't say yes, that is exactly what I'm in the mood for. So I am looking forward to dinner. How tasty and amazing does this look? Like so freaking good. And Melissa said it only took like what, 10 minutes to make? 15. 15, it's like the easiest meal ever. It's basically a bed of spinach and a couple other like mixed lettuce type things. I mean, if you do it the easiest way possible, like if I had bought lettuce where like, I bought the bag of lettuce so I didn't have to wash it. Right, yeah. So like, and I didn't have to cut the carrots. So like I literally just bought everything ready to go so it was really yeah. easy. I just cooked the steak. So yeah, exactly. It's lettuce and then shredded carrots, some feta cheese, slivered almonds, and um, obviously steak, and then a what, balsamic vinaigrette? Or what is it? Raspberry one. Raspberry balsamic. vinaigrette. Okay, yeah. And so, voila, we're gonna dig in and watch some Breaking Bad. Alrighty guys, it's the end of the night. We're gonna start heading to bed. Our episode ended way later than we thought, as tends to happen, so Melissa is already getting ready for bed, but I wanted to jump on here really quick to say goodnight to you guys, so I hope you enjoyed today's vlog, and please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe down below to follow along with all of our daily vlogs. Also, check out all the links in the description box to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, all over the place, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Mm -hmm.